<sighs> All right, everybody. I know it's been a little bit. Sorry, I was gone for probably a little bit than I'd like. Um, only because I've just uh, I've been trying to uh, reorganize a few things in my knife collection and try to make sure that I got more content for you guys. And with that, let's go ahead and get into this one, everybody. Let's talk blades because that's what we're into today. I got for you guys ZT, otherwise known as Zero Tolerance. And this is a very special knife. Um, normally, I man, I wish I had more ZTs in my collection, but I don't. Uh, the ones that I do have, I know there's one other one I haven't put on this channel yet, and I'm going to. It's a fixed blade. Um, Zero Tolerance is known for making fantastic knives. Uh, I do absolutely love their quality and their designs. So this one today I got for you, whoop, upside down, is a Model 0920, the Les George uh clip point <laughs> good stuff now the reason why this box is all beat up is because this knife is no longer in production um you are going to have to do some searching to find it um it is a little bit difficult uh the price tag is a little bit high it is uh when it first came out i believe it was released in 2017 and the price tag was 240 i believe it was 240 but it went up. It's a little bit over 300 now. Uh, if you go to eBay, I'm pretty sure you can still find one for a decent price, around about 300. Uh, I've seen a price tag of 450 on this guy. It's a pretty expensive knife, but it's very, very worth it. So you go ahead and you get it in this box. Of course, Go Bold ZT, and of course it says proudly overbuilt in the USA. Good stuff good stuff a real beast good stuff <laughs> and of course i'm just going to go through what you get in the box your knife comes in this bubble wrap with a little silica packet of course your tactical silica which is always needed for those times when you want to fling it in the face of your enemies and of course you get your zt information booklet of course it has everything you need to know everything you need to read about on what you need to learn if you haven't known or learned anything about knives <laughs> sharpening carrying deployment cleaning all that good nappy stuff including the insurance information all right so with that being said um yeah the box is pretty beat up because you know it's an older model knife what do you expect all right so get the trash out of the way now here it is boom knife Love this knife. Absolutely. Happy to have it. <sighs> I gotta tell you right now, um, a lot of metal handled knives are kind of slick in the hand. This one is not like that at all, proudly. At least through my carrying that I've done today with it, I absolutely love this knife. It fits like a dream in the hand. It literally does. The jimping on here is nice it's not overdone and it's it just feels good it's got almost to me it's got a little bit of like a harpoon kind of look to it but that recurve is really nice and it took me a little of i want to say a little bit to really see the recurve because you see it kind of like an s you know it's it's there and it's nice uh super steel you got that cpm 20 cv which i've heard is nothing but good stuff uh, for its edge retention and, of course, taking on an edge uh, if you need to resharpen. So here's the model number 0920. You got Kai USA George Design, serial number 0123. And, of course, you got that ever so famous ZT stamp on there. This is very thick blade stock. Well, not very thick, but decently thick to me. And uh, it's really nice. And even though it's a, it's not too much of a chunker, but it does have some weight to it. So expect that. I know I'm a little late to the party, but guess what, man? I don't care. It's knives that I don't have on my channel that I'm putting on my channel so you guys can have, you know, a little bit of material to watch. Why not? And if you already know about this knife, well, good for you. <laughs> I've been wanting this knife for a little while, so. Um, now, the texture on this, like I just said, it provides decent grip, and you can feel it. All these lines, you can feel it, and it feels great in the hand feels really good i really really very much like that and of course you can switch the pocket clip from right to left hand carry with these three holes right there which kind of looks a little bit 
off to me that it's on there, but you know, it's whatever. And lanyard hole. Um, I can do away with that. <laughs> More knives can do so much better if they just got rid of the lanyard hole. If they got rid of the lanyard hole, you got more room to scoot up the pocket clip knife companies and be able to carry it at least somewhat more deep carry than normal, and that would be fantastic. Or at least give us, you know, not so much handle. Because look at that, I still got, I could probably fit another finger on there if I really wanted to. But it's nice, it's nice. It's not, you know, I'm not complaining, it's just good. Frame lock design, you got an over travel stop right here, that's where that screw is. Uh, it runs on ball bearings. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure they're metal ball bearings, not ceramic. Um, but it's very, very snappy. Very, very nice deployment. I mean, it's very smooth. Very, very smooth. Now, you got to light switch this. You can't push button, open it. You push on it, it's not really doing anything. You have to light switch it, which is fine for a wave featured knife. Really, really nice. And I gotta tell you, obviously, this is, uh, if you haven't already known, this is titanium. If I haven't already said that, I'm pretty sure I did, but I'm gonna say it again. It is a titanium handle, and it is lightly milled on the inside for weight reduction. You can kind of see it under there, a little dent and divot on this side. And, uh, yeah, you can see it's very much more on this side. You can see that one there, too. I don't want to shine the light. I want to blind you guys, but uh, it's there, so it's... Really, really nice. You got the gold accents on the barrel spacers right here. Those are aluminum. And then you got the titanium pocket clip, which is also kind of anodized gold. It's kind of got like an off gold, to be honest with you. It's like a, it's got a little bit more, it's got a little bit of green and gray in there, making this kind of gold not so bling blingy. But it's just the right amount to where it doesn't look too flashy. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's nice. It really is. Uh, with the price tag of where it is, depending on where you go, this is not a cheap knife by any means, so it's more of a collector, but it's built to be heavily used. That's what zero tolerance knives are known for. They're built, overbuilt, so you can actually use your knife with confidence, knowing that it's still going to be a very, very trustworthy knife at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, it can take a beating. It can take a beating. So yeah, we'll get into the specs of this thing so that way you guys know what you're getting into. I'm going to go ahead and get into the length of this knife. Uh, i try to get it in frame for you guys so you guys can see that. Alright, so I'm going to try and do a blade comparison or at least a knife comparison, whatever I'm holding in my pocket right now, out of random. So yeah, about 4 inch blade from the, at least from that area right there, from the pivot. But it states that it's a 3.9. So yeah, it's damn near four inches so you're looking at an overall nine inch knife and of course from the handle you're looking at five inches that's yeah, a pretty big knife pretty big I like it i like it i've always liked big knives i've never really cared i mean i i'm starting to get into smaller knives I'll, you know three and a half inches would be good you know for me 5.42 ounces now that's kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people because it's a little over five ounces but guess what five ounces is my sweet spot i actually like to carry a knife around about four to five ounces uh, i don't mind lighter knives i just like the feeling of it there uh, i don't carry any more than i need to wallet keys watch knife <laughs> phone <laughs> that's just how it is i that's all i really carry i used to carry tactical flashlights um, multi-tool <laughs> and a uh, lighter I used to carry all that stuff because you know I don't smoke or anything I just carry it just in case I ever need any of that stuff um, but you know over the years I kind of figured that's more stuff that I don't really use I use my knife more than I use any of that other stuff but you know who knows well, so we'll get into the calipers Do you guys know how wide things are Alright, so on the handle you're looking at 13.2 or 13.3. <laughs> That's the first time I've opened it on the opposite hand. <laughs> and a 3.8 on the blade. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Um, like I said, it's a little bit chunky. It's got a little bit of weight to it. And the price tag is a bit hefty if you're able to find one. Um... 
it's just got oh man it's just got that cool factor it was very attractive when i first saw it i was instantly drooling and i was just trying my best not to feed into my temptation but i was able to get this on a trade so i was lucky there i very much wanted this for a long time and uh, i was really sad when they stopped making it but i was really fortunate around this time so can't complain and this blade centering is really really good on this knife obviously but uh look at that look at how close the material is <laughs> it's very very close nice knife though beautiful stuff beautiful stuff it's very good very good grip it's good stuff um i'll go ahead and let's see if how it cuts paper uh I'm just gonna grab a random piece of okay well this can be used for cutting why not yeah it's pretty sharp yeah it's a little toothy closer to the tip it's not bad it just it might need a little bit of touch up but this is the factory edge so this was brand new uh, never used at least that's what I was told anyways so yeah, it's a bit, it feels like it could use a bit of a touch-up. That's okay with me. I can do that. Do I like sharpening recurves? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not really good at it, so I might end up sending it to somebody to get that done uh, if I feel that's necessary. Otherwise, it still has a pretty decent, it's got a workable edge on there. It's not as razor sharp as I'd like it to be, but hey, you know, what can we do? I'm not going to complain about it. Now, the thing about uh, Les George, uh, he's got very expensive um, <laughs> custom knives that he makes. I think one of the knife prices can go up to anywhere to uh, nine grand, I believe. It's very, very expensive. Um, now, I thought just a few hundred dollars is a lot, but his designs are expensive. Um, now, what I know about Les George is he's ex-military. Apparently, he used to work for some sort of bomb squad, something of that nature. Uh, the guy has really good, in my opinion, really good knife designs. If you ever get a chance to check his stuff out, and if you even have the money to grab something, his stuff is very, very much worth it. Um... I don't know if I want to spend anywhere near a thousand dollars on a knife, but with his knives being what they are, they're, I'm sure a lot of them are one of a kind knives. And I believe this knife takes after a certain model that's a little less lesser known. Heard something about the Harpy model. I haven't really seen it, but apparently this is supposed to mimic one of his models. Uh, you know, and I gotta tell you the truth about this pocket clip, I. I don't care so much for the color, but this pocket clip does work very well. I've noticed that when I was carrying it today, it's it's pretty decently deep in the pocket. So you got about that much in there and about that much sticking out of the pocket, and that's pretty damn good. With all things said, you know you're going to have that pocket clip that's going to be screaming, obviously, um, that you're carrying a knife, but if that doesn't bother you, then... You know, this is this holds pretty securely in the pocket. And I know that this pocket clip looks very thin. And it might not work, but trust me, it does. It does work. And I wear jeans, so it works very well. Um, but I did order a new pocket clip from MXG Gear, which, thank you, by the way. Um, I had a commenter let me know about MXG Gear and their pocket clips. And I ordered a few, so I ordered. I just ordered one for this knife, and I was actually surprised they even had this knife model uh, for one of their pocket deep carry pocket clips. So I'm going to switch that up at least, and it's going to have a nice anodized black deep carry pocket clip. I'm going to switch this guy out, and then uh, yeah, it'll just be the barrel spaces that are kind of goldish, which is fine. It's okay. This is a very nice knife. This is a very good. Um, it's not so much pretty to me as it is. It just feels so damn functional, and I feel so confident 
with this knife in hand that it's almost like holding a damn cold steel in my personal opinion if i can compare zt to any company it would be cold steel because they make they they make overbuilt knives and uh this is just more the fancier you know kind of uh route <laughs> so it's 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 really good stuff um now to be honest with you <laughs> i don't have too many zts because i'm really picky i'm very picky with my zero tolerance knives uh if they don't call out to me or if the, the appearance looks a little too funky i'm not really gonna be attracted to it but this one because of the blade shape and because of the blade designer um I was instantly, automatically just very interested in it, and trying to get it in hand was really difficult, so now that it's in my hand now, it's, I don't know, feels good, feels really good, you know, and it being more of an updated ZT, because all my other ZTs are old, they're, they're very old, uh, older than this, so, or maybe they might be around about the same, if not just a tad bit older. But the, uh, oh man, the opening on this is really smooth. The design on this feels really great. It just feels good in the hand. Yeah, it's good stuff. So go ahead and do a size comparison for everybody on whatever I'm carrying in my pocket right now. And it turns out to be a Benchmade 940 Osborne. And, uh, I can tell you right now, um... Out of all the smaller knives, I very much enjoy carrying this 940. Now, if you're a knife nut, and uh, I know this video is about the ZT, I'm just going to add this uh, just as a little bit of a side note. If you are a knife collector and you want a decent knife that's a little bit shorter, but it's got a decent size blade, about uh, 3.40 or about 3.5 inches, look into the Benchmade Model 940. Uh, if you're a knife nut like me, you're going to really appreciate it. And I actually wanted to hate this knife <laughs> for so many reasons. Because I'm used to a 4-inch blade. I'm used to heavy weight. This is the complete opposite of that. But its usability and the fact that it has a reinforced tip and everything about this knife makes me enjoy smaller knives that are not 4 inches. And they don't always need to be 4-inch knives. But this is a great knife. I slapped on an MXG, and this is what I'm talking about, the MXG deep carry pocket clip for this model. And it works fantastic. It really does. I really enjoy that pocket clip on there. It just makes it so much more easier to carry, at least in my opinion anyways. So, you know, that's just size comparison to this. Um, do blade to blade if I could. Uh, yeah, so four and a half inches. Yeah, you can see it's a much bigger knife. But, I mean, you're looking at four inches, you're looking at three and a half, right? Or around about three and a half. It's not bad. Just depends on your personal preference, on what you want to carry. If you like big, chunky, weighty kind of knives that uh, just have that confidence and feel, then I suggest this knife right here. I really do. It's really nice. I really, really do like it. I like th I like everything about this knife. I don't think there's really anything I don't like about it. It looks just very sleek, and it feels very good in the hand. So can't really complain too much about uh, about ZT and their stuff lately. They've been doing it pretty well. So, anyways, that's my little uh, view on that knife right here. Um. Like I said, I'm a little sorry that's a little bit late, but you know what? It's new to me, and I enjoy it very much so. And I can't wait to get that MXG pocket clip. And thank you, thank you, thank you, you subscriber. You know who you are, a commenter, um, for pointing me in that direction. Uh, that makes it so much better. Instead of buying a brand new knife with a deep carry pocket clip, I could just buy a deep carry pocket clip for the current knife that I already have and save so much more money that way and be happy and confident knowing that it's sitting that much deeper in my pocket and I just feel the confidence and it's and they make good really really good quality pocket clips titanium so I like that stuff go ahead and check them out if you guys have a chance and you guys have knives that you want to throw some deep carry pocket clips on go ahead and you know give them a look see 
I'm pretty sure you'll appreciate it. I'm sure they will appreciate the business. So go ahead and slash that like button, stab that subscribe, slice that bell icon so you guys are notified anytime that I post new stuff. In these craziest times, everybody, please be kind, be safe, carry responsibly, and I will see you all amazing, awesome, loving people in the next video.